So, it's the 30th today of August, day 13. Jesus. Yeah, day 13. And it's a hectic one. I'm going to try and make the video today. No, I will. I will. Right? Affirmative thinking. I will make the video vlog today. But today is a big one. I start my course today. So I have all my exercise books and my manuals all ready to go. And I'm about to start my course and I think it runs until three o'clock. So I won't be able to do any video work between then. Then I've got a little bit of time. And then later on tonight, I have my Zoom dance lesson because my concert for contemporary dance is in October. I've committed to these things and I will do these things, but there are a lot of things. Now, if you know me, you'll know that it's pretty classic of me to overcommit. And I don't do it on purpose. I just really love learning. And the best way for me to learn is to do. It's something that I wish that I knew in high school, because I know that if I had known, that I probably would have done better than I did. But now that I'm an adult, kind of, I really try to take advantage of it as much as I can. Which is why I'm always doing different things. I know a lot of my friends get quite a kick out of asking me what I'm up to these days. Because pretty much every time they ask me, it's always something different. Last year it was horse grooming, the year before that it was TV, the year before that I was a producer, and now this year, I guess, I'm learning how to operate cranes. I don't really know where it's going to take me, or even if I want it to take me anywhere, but that in itself is really exciting. It's probably the most different thing I've learned though, so hopefully it's not too tedious. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, that was extremely tedious. That was a uh, three hours of just so boring. But it's just an introduction, right? It's just that it'll get more interesting. And at the moment, I guess this is all we can do. I, usually that class would be in a room and there would be diagrams and a board and people and things moving. But man, I'll be honest, doing a course at home via Zoom makes you sleepy. But we, you know, we're, we're, we're getting there. They have given me homework though, which I'm weirdly excited for because it means that I can do it while listening to music and I can do it at my own pace and I can do it also just while lying on the ground, which is just, it's just better. I, I have never been able to vibe with classroom settings. Can't do it, man, but I will do it. It's a new experience. Who knows where it will go? Stay positive, Jordan. For the rest of the day though, I have a workout to do and I have a dance class tonight via Zoom again. And I also have a message that I need to listen to, apparently. A friend of mine, Jen, who's another director, writer in Wellington, often gets ideas really late at night. And so every now and then, randomly, I'll just get a long recording of her just kind of vomiting out an idea at me. So I'll go through and try and decipher that. But for now, let's just get on with the day. Day 13. Let's roll. Now it sounds like I'm joking about Jen just vomiting out words, but I really do mean it. She does. But I love it. Me and Jen met a few years ago working on some projects in Wellington. She hired me originally as an actor to take part in a web series that she'd created, loosely based on her experiences of staying in hostels across Europe. But over the years we've also gotten to know each other more, and now we create things together. And more recently her web series, Hostel Now Here, which I not only acted in, but also helped film. Working on these miniatures is still one of the coolest things I've done in the industry. But as much as I love working with her, man, she can leave a voice message. Okay, I can't be asked typing. So basically what I'm thinking, and this is a really rough plan for now, like five dorms so we have more control over the space. So if these key people are available, then I'm gonna reach out to the hospital. And then I'll write the script. <laughs> There'll be a good incentive for me to like actually write it, but I know that extends. So what I want to do is ask the key people that I want involved in this, what their availabilities are. And just get the script going around. I want to write quite quickly so I can actually have feedback. It'd be really cool to do like a road trip out there. Anyway, let me know if you're around November. That could have been an email. <laughs> and that's not a terribly flattering position, but... I don't have a tripod in here. And I'm aware that my room's a mess, but come on, what are we, day 13? Give me a break. I know some people have commented about the things in the background. 
Usually these things would be on a shelf, but the shelf is actually at the studio. And we can't get to the studio until the end of lockdown. And also, all of the clothes in the background were meant to go to the Salvation Army. But now that we're in lockdown, no one's there. So if I drop things off, they're just gonna get wet in the rain. So for now, I do my workout surrounded by a pile of stuff. But at least I'm doing my workout. I'm not gonna say that I'm surprised that I've stuck to my exercises through lockdown, but in all honesty, yeah, nah, fuck, I am pretty surprised. <laughs> I really didn't think that I'd get this far. But now that I am this far, there's almost more pressure to continue because this is probably the longest that I've been on the exercise wagon. And trust me, I've been on the wagon a few times. But at this point, I know that if I fall off, I'm gonna have to work my way all the way back again. And I just don't wanna do that. So I'm sticking with it. I have a vague end goal, but for now, just making sure that I'm putting in the effort every day that I can is an achievement in itself. Especially considering everything else I gotta do. <laughs> okay, this is so weird. I'm about to start my at-home Zoom contemporary dance class. And I have about one and a half by two and a half meters worth of space. It's probably enough. It wasn't. I'm so sorry. Today was a mess, right? Absolute mess. I'm so sorry, but I just had to do it. I still made the video though. And tomorrow is the last day. It's the end of the season, my friends. Tomorrow is the last day of lockdown for all of New Zealand apart from Auckland. Shout out Auckland. You guys are the best. You guys are really taking one for the team. The rest of the country, we're all going into level three, which means basically the same thing, but we have fast food takeaways. And my time doing this finishes. The goal has always been to just document every day of lockdown. And lockdown is technically only level four. So once you go to level three, no more lockdown with Jordan. But, but, I'll let you know more about it tomorrow. I do have another series coming out. It was supposed to come out around about the time that we went into lockdown. And I figured maybe releasing a travel series about traveling New Zealand wasn't a good idea, considering we were about to be banned from traveling. Just kind of felt like bad timing. But yeah, anyway. So now we only had 54 new cases which is a dramatic drop in the trend of cases being found every day. It's a good sign, but you can't tell a trend from one day. So the next few days will be critical. And tomorrow, we'll know for sure. Day 13. Thanks for sticking with me. 